cut for? Oh, I just need your help. What could possibly justify stealing my instrument again? I am not cutting my hair. Okay, well, I'm about to go on vacation and I don't really want to bring an instrument. So I just want a few tips on how I can stay in shape. If I help you this one time, can I please have my instrument back? Hi everyone, my name is Callie. Where'd my coffee go? There it is. Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is the next episode of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. Now if this is your first time hearing about this series, um, you know, take a look around. I've, uh, I started this back, um, when, when the pandemic began as a way to help other people kind of stick with a practice routine and just kind of stay motivated during, during all of these um, indoor um, moments the past, um, the past couple of months. And um, it, it's going really well. I'm really enjoying putting these videos out there and um, you guys should definitely check out the stuff that I've been doing. Um, so for today's video, um, I thought it would be a great idea to put a, a list together, a little bit of a guide together um, to help some of you uh, stay in shape. I mean, I know a lot of you have been practicing a lot over, over this pandemic and now that things are starting to open up and people are starting to travel more, um, you may be less inclined to practice. Um, I know I am. I'm trying to be outside as much as possible and enjoy the weather. So um, these little tips today um, are just designed to kind of help you stay in shape and just kind of work different muscle groups and exercise different parts of your brain to try to stay engaged in, in all of the work that you, you've kind of put into your instrument over the past couple of months. Now before we get into that, um, all of you should know that about two things. One, I'm giving lessons online um, and if you're interested, just contact me. All you have to do is just send me a message, go to my website. It's not a big deal. It's not some big fancy thing. It's I'm, I'm just a clarinet teacher and I do remote lessons and anybody who finds me on YouTube is, is definitely, um, you know, worthy of working with um, because clearly you've searched the internet to find solutions to different problems that you may have and I, and I love working with YouTube viewers on, on things so be sure to reach out to me. Now if you're not interested in lessons that's totally cool but if you love what I'm doing here I actually have a Patreon page and it's just a little bit of assistance that you can throw out there at my channel to kind of keep the momentum going and keep these videos going um, you know these videos take a lot of time and thought and effort and while I love doing it it also is is really helpful to know that you guys are in support of the work that I'm doing so be sure to go check it out you know it's it's small and it's not not anything um, crazy it's just like a little thank you a little tip jar so at the very least I appreciate that you guys are watching my videos sharing my videos playing along with my videos downloading my the music that I put out there it means a lot so thank you I think I'm ready to get started how about you all right let's go ahead so one thing I recommend, and I discovered this when I was a kid, um, you know, running errands and stuff with my mom was just like, oh, I could practice things without a clarinet um, just by practicing fingerings. A lot of us are really good at hearing these things and we know when we're playing something right, we know when we're playing something wrong, but we don't always know, um, you know, exactly what it feels right to be right. Or wrong and so practicing fingerings without the instrument and making a conscious effort to you know do the right fingerings imagining you're pushing the correct buttons can really help solidify the mental image of various passages scales whatever so I always like to do this um, on a water bottle um, later on I'll talk about practicing by blowing through a straw or or various other devices to kind of help you practice blowing and doing the fingerings at the same time but um, right now you know really basic things practice fingerings on what you have available 
Now another thing you can do actually to keep your hands strong and your fingers nimble is actually do little exercises to practice those things. So one of the things I really love is practicing just um, you know, doing like interval training essentially, uh, or strength training I think is what it is, with a, a stress ball. So I've got my little tiger stress ball over here and um, you can see that it really works the muscles on the inside of the hand. Now another way you can keep your hands in shape is to practice the, um, I guess, opening <laughs> muscles, uh, practice stretching those out. So working with, you know, thick, res very resistant rubber bands, such as things that you might find on um, a bunch of, you know, asparagus or, or broccoli or whatever. Save those um, because they're really helpful. Um, it's, it was an exercise my, my doctor did with me in physical therapy when I was trying to avoid getting tendonitis. Um, so I think that's worth checking out as well, and it's pretty easy. You don't have to do it all the time. I recommend doing just what my, my doctor recommended, which is three sets of 15 repetitions with 45 seconds rest in between each of the three sets. Now the next thing you can do is just practice your face, right? So. Um, one of the things I've worked with some kids on and just trying to figure out like, ooh, what is her face doing? Um, and things that I do even while I'm just in my car driving around <laughs> is um, practicing stretching your face. Take your corners, make sure they're really tight against your teeth and pull them back toward your ears. And then take them and slide them forward again and back. And you do this a bunch of times, pretty soon, you're gonna realize that you really do have muscles in your face. It looks silly, it's, it's very helpful though, and it's one thing you can do to keep your face coordinated and in shape whenever you are on vacation. Another thing you can do is uh, practice doing breathing exercises. Um, so, one of so one of my favorite things to do is um, actually you can just like go to their YouTube channel right now, the breathing gym. Those are really great exercises for just keeping the core engaged and um, just building up the, the muscle you need to keep blowing when you're playing. Because um, I think this muscle group is often ignored. Um, but it's very, very important for air support. You could also practice doing that with um, this kind of, goes into my next point. You can practice doing this with a straw or with one of these devices, and you can practice blowing and inhaling rapidly to build that muscle and to kind of keep your body used to that sort of physical activity. And then lastly, Anything that will help you keep your core strong is going to help you stay in shape for whenever you play your instrument. And so, you know, crunches if you're able to do them. Planks are great if you're able to do them. A friend of mine downloaded an app and it's, uh, I don't know, 30 days plank exercise and you get to from beginner to advanced and it really helped her stay in shape whenever she was working a lot so that was super helpful and um, you know even even push-ups anything like that will help strengthen your core so I'm not an expert in physical therapy there are so many uh, <laughs> workout channels out there so find a channel that will help you keep your core strong and that will definitely transfer into your clarinet playing so I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope you find that helpful um, when you are away on your vacation. Um, you are not allowed to bring my instrument, so what I tell these guys does not apply to you. Um, the best thing you can do though is to make sure you bring an instrument with you. Most of us have an old plastic clarinet or, you know, our, you know, eighth grade intermediate clarinet laying around and trying to bring that along with you. It has really, really helped me stay in shape. You guys have fun, um, be safe going out there, keep your social distance. Thank you so much for watching and, and as, as always, always, happy practicing. practicing.